Uh, any thoughts about um, <laughs> World Cup at all? Yeah, yeah, I'm retired now, so yeah, <laughs> can't help them out whatsoever. But yeah, World Cup is it's fantastic spectacle. I think Ewan Morgan is the right guy to, to lead for England forward. I was a big defender of Alistair Cook, saying, look, they've made a decision, just get off his back. Uh, if they'd have made the decision earlier, then we'd have had nine more games with Ewan Morgan as captain to get the, the team settled before the World Cup. As as we've seen, we've shown glimpses of a lot of progress. I think the balance of the team is a lot better. Um, and I think we've got potential to, to surprise a lot of the, the better teams. Uh, on our day, I think we can be most teams, uh, but I don't think we'll be consistently good enough to, to go on and win it. So what, what, what do you think at the moment? Every, every international side who's uh, at the World Cup is, has been playing and it seems to be all up in the air. Yeah, you've seen what South Africa can do if they, they can still pick from their, their, their bowlers, their bowlers are lethal. And A.B. de Villiers is what, what a freak he is. We've seen Australia go from strength to strength beating England and, and India. We've seen flashes of what India can do, we've seen flashes of what England can do, we've seen the West Indies not as much of a threat. New Zealand are playing as well, so there's people there that are getting the preparation in for the World Cup, and it's all about peaking at the right time. There's no point in going to the World Cup in fantastic form and your form dripping off. All you want to do, you want to get better and better throughout the competition. Whoever peaks at the right time is going to win it. Okay, so neck on the line, four countries, semi-finals. Uh, South Africa, Australia. And then let's let, let's put England in there. Let's go England and New Zealand because they're always a dark horse. Fantastic. So no room for India. No room for India. No, their time has come and gone and passed.